Five Scott Walchek explains the rise in these illnesses across the nation and what's being done about it. Numerous people ending up in the hospital across the nation, all with serious respiratory conditions and all have one thing in common. Seems to all be associated with folks that are vaping. Michigan's Department of Health and Human Services announced today it is investigating six reports of severe lung disease that seem to be tied with vaping. This over just a 60-day span, and on top of that, the Centers for Disease Control are looking into nearly 200 similar cases across the U.S. We know that there's enough problem uh, amongst the different clusters that have occurred around the country so far that it is related to the vaping, but as far as a particular substance being found that's causing it routinely, that's not, as far as I know, been identified yet. Trying to isolate the exact cause is hard enough. What's also concerning is how popular vaping is becoming for kids and teenagers. School systems now are quite concerned about that, particularly now that there's having more issues with the pneumonias and the, and the infections and other lung-related problems. And doctors say if you plan to vape, be warned. It's not any better for you than smoking cigarettes. The Department of Health and Human Services says e-cigarette users should seek medical attention if they have shortness of breath, chest pain, fever, or nausea. Live in the Continuous News Center, Scott Walchek, WNEM TV5. All right, thank you so much, Scott. And scientists are looking into what could be the next second hit.